Jake here for Extreme Terrain, and today I'm taking a look at the Red Rock Catback Exhaust with black tip fitting 2010 and newer 4 liter 4Runners. If you're looking for a really affordable way to make your 4 liter 4Runner a little bit louder and give it a more aggressive exhaust note, then this system from Red Rock might just strike the perfect combination of sound, volume, and style. Coming in at about a three out of five on our loudness meter, this one is not gonna be too terribly loud. Instead, it's a good balance between additional volume and a better tone. Toyota's four liter V6 is very quiet with the factory exhaust. You mostly just hear the engine cooling fan, and let's face it, that's not the most sonorous of noises. And that's where this comes in. It's gonna make that engine sound like a proper V6, something a little roarty, a little bit raspy, especially when you get into it but it's not gonna be unpleasant by any means. No denying it, it doesn't sound like a V8, it sounds like a true V6, and it's certainly a marked difference versus stock in both volume and in tone. It sounds about how you'd have expected this to come from the factory. Now, more noise outside means more noise inside as well. So inside, you're gonna hear a bit more of that grumble, but there should still be minimal drone. You'll definitely be able to hold a conversation easily and listen to some music. Now, since this is a catback system, it's gonna replace your factory mufflers and resonator with this single bullet style muffler. This has some heft and some baffling to it. Although again, it is a straight through design. Now, usually knocking on these gives you kind of an idea of how much volume you're gonna get out of your system. And you'll have a little bit of resonance here, but not too bad. Again, it's got a good sound to it and definitely something that's improved versus stock. Now this exhaust is also gonna exit in the stock location on the passenger side, just behind the rear wheel. And to finish it off, you get this nice textured black tip. It's a good little visual upgrade versus the pretty much non-existent tip on most of the factory systems on these trucks. And we also offer this same system with a polish tip, should that suit your style a little bit more. Construction here is all 409 grade mandrel bent stainless steel, and it's gonna provide you with some better exhaust flow versus your stock system. The material itself is gonna equip this with some good resistance to rust and corrosion. Now, it won't be quite as much as a T304 stainless system, but it is significantly less expensive than one of those. And though a bit of assembly is required here, I was actually very impressed when I pulled this out of the box. The welds look pretty good here. The material is nice. The flange here is nice and thick, and all the hangers and clamps are in good shape as well. It's just a nice system for not a whole lot of money. It's very solid, especially considering that price. And about that price, this one is gonna come in at about $350, and that makes it about the most affordable cat back on the market for this generation of truck. It's really a great price for what you're getting here, and you're not gonna find it in a less expensive system with the same quality and the same type of sound. So if you like how it sounds, and you don't wanna spend a fortune on an exhaust, this is gonna be a great buy for you. Installation is gonna get a two out of three on our difficulty meter, and it should only take you about two hours to complete. Now, like most exhausts, access can be a little tight, especially if you're working in a driveway and not on a lift, but it is something that you can do at home. Now, this is a totally bolt-on system. It's gonna utilize all of your factory exhaust hanger locations, and though a little bit of assembly is required, everything you need comes right here in the box, making it a pretty straightforward job for you to accomplish at home. And with that, why don't we go ahead and jump on out to the install bay, and we'll show you how to get Get this one done. Tools required for this install include an impact gun, an air gun, an exhaust hanger remover tool, a couple different size extensions, a deep 13, shallow 14, and shallow and deep 15 millimeter sockets, and a swivel adapter. What's up guys? Today we're installing an exhaust on our Forerunner, so let's get started. So our first step is to unbolt our tailpipe from our muffler pipe. We have two 14 millimeter bolts on that flange that we need to remove and then one hanger on our tailpipe to completely remove it. Now this one might be a little bit hard to see, but we're gonna have to go over our track bar and take our 14 millimeter socket to remove our bolts. Next, we can come about a foot behind the end of our tailpipe and we have one hanger right up here. It's gonna be a little hard to see, but we'll get our exhaust hanger remover and pop that out of our isolator. 
Now with our tailpipe free, we can wiggle it out of the way. Next, we can start working on our muffler pipe. Now we have two hangers towards the front by our flange that we can pop out first. So we'll grab an exhaust hanger tool. Let's pop those isolators off. And next we can grab the one on the front side of our muffler. And then we can throw that back on to our rod. Next we can come up to our flange and remove these two 14 millimeter spring bolts. Now we can come back behind the muffler and remove our two last hangers. Now it's gonna be a good idea to grab a buddy to go back to the flange to hold that because once we remove these two hangers, the whole piece is gonna fall. So we'll grab our exhaust from hanger remover tool, pop these out. And now with our hangers removed, we can remove our muffler pipe. So our first step is to install our front pipe. Now it's gonna be the one with the flange on the end. We're also gonna grab one of our hanger clamps. This is gonna be the smallest out of the three hanger clamps. They're pretty intuitive on where they go. Then we'll raise this up into place and reinstall our factory spring bolts. Now before we install our front pipe, if your donut gasket is worn out, this would be a good time to replace it. Ours looks pretty good. So we'll just install our pipe and thread those spring bolts back into place. Now once you have your two spring bolts in place, you can take your 14 millimeter socket, and tighten these down evenly. Next, we can grab our hanger clamp and slide that into our isolator. And then we'll take our 13 millimeter socket to tighten it down. Next, we can install our next hanger clamp. So slide that over the edge of our pipe and into our isolator. And then once again, we can grab our 13 millimeter socket to tighten it down. And then we can get our mid pipe. The bend is gonna be going up. So we'll slide one of our clamps onto the edge of our pipe. And then slide that in place. And then we can take our 15 millimeter socket to tighten down our clamp. Next, we can install our muffler. So we'll grab another one of our clamps and slide that into place. And then we can get our clamp into place and take a 15 millimeter socket to tighten it down. Next, we can install our over axle pipe. So we'll take another one of our clamps and slide that over our muffler outlet. And then we can take our hanger clamp. The longer side is gonna go towards the passenger side. So slide that onto our pipe and then raise this up. And then into our muffler. And then we can install our two rods into our isolators. And now we can go back to the clamp on our muffler outlet. and we'll take a 15 millimeter socket to tighten that down. And then we'll switch to our 13 and get our hanger clamp in place and tighten that down. Next, we can install our tailpipe. So we're gonna grab another clamp and slide over the edge. And we're gonna get this hanger into our isolator first. This might be a little hard to see. Now 
Now we can slide our clamp into place. And we can take a 15 millimeter socket on an extension and a swivel to tighten that down. Now lastly, we can install our tip. So we'll grab our matching black clamp and slide that onto our tip. And then we can slide this onto our tailpipe. Now you can adjust your tip to have as much or as little poke as you'd like. I'm just making it flush with the pipe on the inside. And then we'll take our 15 millimeter socket to tighten this down. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Red Rock Catback Exhaust with black tip for your 2010 and newer 4 liter 4Runner. Thank you for watching and for all things 4Runner, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.